Yeah. Hey, it's all repetition. Yeah. It's all about who gon' go the hardest in the distance. You gotta write down your goals, then you get committed. Now you stepping in your power and you finally see the vision. And now your workouts is two a days. You study about newer things. The seller and the user phase. The jeweler and the Jewish. And we are back, season three. And you are now tuned in with Visionary of Road to Solace. Make sure y'all tune in all platforms, YouTube, Road to Solace, Instagram, Road to Solace. So we got a special guest. My guy, he ain't new to me, but yeah, you new to the show. Shaheen, Shaheen Battle. He's a high performer, athlete, uh, athlete NC State University, cornerback to be exact. Yep. Uh, community leader, entrepreneur, and a gift of God. What you think I got that from? Yeah. I don't know, man. Where you get it from? That's your name, bro. That's what your name means. Yes, God. You ain't know that? Nah. Do you nah. feel like you on the path? Let me tell you what the uh the definition. Definition is only the good things happen. That's what your name means. You feel like you on the path for that? I feel like I'm on the yeah, I'm definitely on the path for that, yeah. What made you say that? I mean, you know, God's God's been a good man to me, you know. Mm -hmm. Start to finish. Um, not everybody get to experience their dreams in real life, and I feel like, you know, God has, you know, helped me do that, and I'm enjoying it. It's fun. Okay. Okay. So what's new? What's new? What's like, what's, what's been going on that's new to you? Um, well, just me just, you know, branching out, being more open and, um, doing things outside of, you know, playing football. Mm -hmm. Um, doing works around football, you know, that you can understand, you know, so like uh I have I have a clothing line, Battle mm -hmm. Island, you right. know. Um, that's something I've been doing since my freshman year of college. Um, you know, I recently just had a my first football camp here in Rocky Mountain, the I two five two camp showdown. Um that's something I was I wanted to do. Um I did that, it was real fun. You know, you was there. You yeah, know? yeah, so yeah. For a, sure. We had a great time. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of kids showed out. Um you know, still learning the game of football, um, learning, you know, the aspects of how the game works, the ins and outs of it. Mm -hmm. Just educating myself, you know, just because, you know, it's always good to know and understand the game that you're playing. Yeah. You know, as it evolves, you know, things are different. And, um, you know, it's, it's interesting, you know, learning about something that you've been playing all your life is still something new, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's like every day is something new, you're getting deeper and deeper, uh, you know, just still just maintaining and playing the game, training for the game too, so. I mean, I stay busy, but for sure. it's a good busy. You know, I love, I love the what I do, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. What's some of the characteristics that you build up? Some of the characteristics that you build up playing the game of football. Um, I would say leadership, um, being able to have, being put in a position to like lead other players. You know, me mm -hmm. being the older guy on the team now. I'm put in a position where I am a leader on this team, you know, potentially a captain. Um, so I have to be like able to, you know, get young guys to understand how our system works and, you know, being put in that type of role, you know, feels like I'm holding somebody accountable. And it's like a part of growth, you know. So, you know, yeah. as a kid, your parents are the ones that hold you accountable. Not saying I'm a parent to another player, but you know, it just feels like I'm being in a position of I can help someone learn and grow and, you know, yeah. be a better player for, you know, be what I could what they want to be better than me, you know. So, you know, stuff like that, leadership, um, discipline, you know, the game of football takes a lot of discipline. You know, we do a lot of stuff like training and um, the adversity we have to go through, you know, being put mm -hmm. in tough situations, you know, just mm -hmm. being real disciplined and being detailed and, you know, learning how to grind. That's yeah. the biggest thing with football, you know. It taught me a lot. Like, since day one, that was might be the first thing I learned is that you got to grind in this game. Mm -hmm. um, like I played quarterback in high school, and I went from a quarterback to a DB. How many people know that? Shit, it's about to be oh, everybody shit. now, but not many. Oh. The adversity, though. More go in depth, like specific. Like, what is some okay. coming off, coming as a red shirt freshman? Really, you already <clears throat> you felt like you was gonna start at first coming out, right? Going so, to college. Yeah, yeah. So, so, like so from there. Starter. Yeah, so from there. Like, basically, the adversity started there or was before that? Nah, I mean, it wasn't adversity until 
I got my first feel for college football, you know, when we started uh spring spring practice. And what that's happened? when um that's when I first played my first college snap, I guess you can say. Mm. Man, I mean, I couldn't win a rep. <laughs> I mean, that's just the that's the truth of it. I look good in the drills. I mean, one on ones come, I just couldn't. What couldn't happened? Shake right. What happened? Like when it, you say you couldn't run the rep? What's, what's I up? mean, I don't know, bro. Like game just fast. The game was fast. You know? Oh, the speed. The, the speed, speed of the game, game was fast, yeah. and I wasn't acclimated and used to that speed mm. of the game yet. So, you know, I took <clears> it took some time for me to get used to it. Yeah. Um, it was hard, you know. Practice, practice was like not like high school practice. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, a lot, a lot more different aspects to it. We got a special teams, um, any periods, team periods, you know, all kinds of stuff. So, but I mean, it was just something new, something I had to get used to. And you know, the hardest part was just going out there, knowing that, you know, I'm gonna compete, yeah. but I can't win a rep. You know what I'm saying? So. So that's you, what I had to learn from. <clears throat> you was forced, compete. basically. You was forced to learn. Yeah, for real. yeah. I was first. I was forced to learn, and I was determined to learn. Like mm -hmm. I wasn't gonna just accept them and get defeated. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I went out there and still gave my all, even though I might lose to the same fade route every play. Because mm -hmm. I mean, dude, that's all you would do: fade route, fade route. I'm like, yeah, that's what that's. Than me yeah, that's here. when you know, like, yeah, it's time for me to. Yeah. Sit back and so you was really content. Was like, yeah, let me let me really learn the system. Let me. It's okay to red shirt. Yeah, like I said, like I mean, it won't even when it was spring spring practice where I was mm. like, I know I'm a red shirt. Oh, like I was like, you know, still grinding up mm. through fall camp, seeing where I'm gonna be on the depth chart and stuff. Oh, then I eventually found out that I was doing red shirt and I didn't like it. But I'm like, well, what can I do now? Mm -hmm. What can I do from this point till it's my time? You know, I can't just sit here and just wait and pout. You know, I might as well. If I'm not ready now, I might as well get ready. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That was my mindset. So, you know, every day I went against the uh, starting starting offense, and I just got better, you know, made plays on those guys. Mm -hmm. You know, we're we not supposed to make plays, but I'm like, I got to get better. You know, I ain't going to just be taking days off. I got to go over here and make a play. So, of course, I can play. Yeah. You feel me? So. Yeah, that's that was my mindset going to every practice, man. I went in there with some confidence, and I'm like, I ain't gonna go here and just you know BS around. Mm. I'm gonna go get better. And it was a guy named DD. Um, yeah. he's still there now. He used to always tell me like, "You all right, two five? Because he from he from Bertie County, so he from the two five two area. He know about rocking. Oh, okay, yeah. So he basically Southwest. So took you up he was the big 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 East Conference guy, you know. So mm. he, you know he came from the same conference, all of that. So. You know, that's that's my guy now. So yeah. he was like, "Hey, you gonna you gonna be all right? Your time coming. You know, your time coming." I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. I'm a, you know, red shirt player, freshman on on in, on college. You know, so um, I just don't worry. Stay with me. And you know, I've been doing a good job. You know, still trying to prove and get better every day. But you know, I feel like I'm you know, I'm heading in the right direction. Was it pressure outside? Outside of the field, like I'm off the field, like your support system, friends, it was like, dang, okay. You know what I mean? You being recruited, they thinking everybody like, yeah, you gonna come off starting off the back, this and that. Was it pressure in that in that process? <clears throat> um, I mean, I ain't gonna say it was pressure. I feel like I let myself down more than anything because I put the pressure on myself that I was gonna, you know, go there and do these things. Mm. So I felt like I didn't reach my goals as a person, as a player. Like, what did I do wrong? Mm -hmm. What could I have done better? What should I have worked on more? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it wasn't that I was um, pressured or anything. Like, you know, my, my support system, they all they always believed in me. You know, they always, you know, say, yeah, you you know, you should be doing this all your life. Yeah. You ain't never been the guy that was given to. You know, you always had to work for it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's always been my mindset since, you know, I started. I was, I was never considered a star player. You know, I was always the guy that, Come in and see what you can do, mm -hmm. and we're gonna see what you can do. And yeah. you know that's how I've earned earned my stripes. You know, um, every opportunity is a the next opportunity to me. You know, like I take advantage of the opportunities. You know, I say opportunities a lot because that's all I ever asked for. You know what I'm saying? That goes back to the meaning of your name. <clears throat> that's what that's a line of. Like you're, it's it's it goes off of opportunity. So mm -hmm. opportunity of a uh, Shaheem is like. 
you know what I mean? All good things are going to happen to you because you take advantage of the opportunity. So, yeah, so it's like you you really kind of, you molded into your name already. Molded? Yeah, so. Nah, for real. I mean, opportunities, like, I remember I put a, I put a post on Instagram in high school. Yeah. I made I made that catch in the end zone when I flipped on top of my helmet. Boy, we have a lot man, of memories. It was, it was homecoming, <laughs> man. I, yeah. It was one of my best catches. Mm-hmm. I flipped on top of my helmet. I said, and before that game, during that week, I just said, Coach, like, just give me an opportunity. I just want an opportunity. Mm-hmm. 10th grade, yeah, you threw me out there. Got my opportunity. I mean, I made a play. And, you know, just ever since, I'm like, I don't ever want an opportunity, man. Like, let me show you I can do it. Yeah. Don't just Simple. think I can't do it or, you know, try to psych me out. Mm-hmm. You know, I want you to see my capabilities. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Push yeah. yourself to the test, for mm-hmm. sure. So for the young guys that's coming up, say for like a uh, high school going into college, when you said, when you said you're not supposed to touch the guys, you was on scout team, right? Mm-hmm. What well, a lot of them don't know that though. Like if you, um, what like what that mean when you was like you don't pose to go hard? Or... I mean, you know, you got, you got your star players against the guys that just made the cuts on the mm-hmm. team. You know what I'm saying? You just right. gonna. Keep it real, you know. I've I been on both sides, so mm-hmm. it ain't no this or that to me. So you know what I'm saying. So it's like, why would you let your four string player put hands on your star player and potentially cause, you know, an injury or something yeah. goes wrong? You know, that's that's how it works, you know. But your mindset can't be that. You got to be. We're still here to compete. Yeah, you know, I'm not trying to hurt him. I'm just trying to compete and make him better. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's never like this guy's better than me, and we're taking a day off. You know, that's yeah. how I feel. So, I mean, I feel like for him to get better and stay this star player, he need to see the best of me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, that was my mindset mm-hmm. against the star wide receivers on our team, and they respect me for it. You know, mm-hmm. it was like, it's like our little bro, but we know he's going to come here every day and come challenge yeah. us. Yeah. So you know, I'm, I know I'm making them better, even mm-hmm. though they might break me off mm-hmm. ten out of fifteen times. But you still, I'm gonna get better work. though. Right. Yeah. Right. I say that because I went through that same exact thing. Just like how at first you put yourself in the shoes of where you at now, mm-hmm. but like coming off as a freshman, you like it's go time. I'm working towards something. Yeah. So they don't even they taking like you said they taking days off. You at the top, you starting and everything. They taking days off. So it's like dang. Okay, I'm still coming, so you better be on your A game 24 right. 7. Yeah, I feel that. I right. feel that. Well, um, so for, remember the care races that uh, were your intro? I was like high performer, and then I was like entrepreneur, and um, well, uh, community leader, yeah. and the gift of God. So, what out of all of those, which ones stand out more? Like people that, that okay, they, they want you, you want to be remembered by. Um, Which one means more to you? I say that. Give to God. That's, give to God. That means more to me than anything. All of that. God created, created me, and I'm thankful for that. For sure. And you know that's that's my savior. Mm-hmm. You know, so you know it all speaks for itself. Yeah. So what it, when it comes to life, what I want to ask you, bro? Let's go into entrepreneurship. What is some what's what you working on new now? Um, right now I'm kind of on my camp coming up. I got a mm-hmm. new project. Um, working on a new brand branched off from Battle Island called War Pain. Yeah. Um, it's pretty much gonna be my sports line, and I'm pretty much I'm gonna start promoting and sponsor it off of my Battle Island out of mm-hmm. two five two camp showdown. Yeah. When I'll be having in July. So um I have War Pain as one of the sponsors, which is also just you know, it's it has a lot of meaning to it. You know, it's war pain. You know, it's what what's your campaign? Mm-hmm. You know, so like what's your story? How did you build what you have, you know? Yeah. So when you put this virtual, I want you to feel like I'm about to go grind and go get what I want. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm about to build my campaign, but I'm about to go through war to get there. You know, this is my war pain right now. Yeah. In the dark hours. So no matter what the circumstances may be, you gotta right. go through the zone. Right, because I mean, no, no path to success is easy. Mm. You know, we we work every day to get 
what we want to get in life. And we're not even close to what we want to be in life. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can say, like, every day you've got closer to where you want to be, right? Right, right. So, I mean, like, that's part of your war pain right there. That's part of your campaign. How how important is it to build a brand early on? You you started your brand in twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. That was a year at the mind. Yeah, that mm-hmm. was good. That was a year at the mind. Yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he's saying. So how but how is it important? Like what was the motive of starting the brand? I mean, to be honest, like since I was a kid, mm-hmm. elementary school, I used to just draw my notebook in class. I just get to drawing. My favorite number was number seven. You know, that's kind of a mystery, but I'm going to just say this. My favorite why, number. Why seven? What's the meaning behind seven? Seven, um, you know, I'm glad you said that. I just looked it up, like, last night. Mm. Um, It's like the year of completion, mm. you know, fullness. Okay. And, um, like, since a kid, my rec league coach said, he told me, he said, I wore number seven. I want you to wear number seven. I wanted mm. number 22. Mm. Mm. That's a I great I wanted number. 22. Yeah, yeah. But he said, I want you to put seven on. Somebody already had 22. Mm, yeah, I don't know if it was you, but <laughs> but yeah. Yes, so yes. I'm like, man, you know what? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get seven. I had seven, bro, and it felt like a year of completion. Mm. I was a kid, but looking back on it, um, I was a team MVP, bro. Um, we went seven and zero. We beat Enfield for the championship. I scored the only touchdown in overtime. You know. Stuff mm. like that. That's history. Yeah. And I ain't wore that number ever since. Well, I wore it I wore it in middle school and I wore it in ninth grade. Those years was also like some breakout years for me. Mm. But yeah, mercy year of completion. You know, seven as the guy, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. The strategy of the NIL deals. What is the strategy behind that? Like, is it a strategy or is it the character? Like how do you get it? A lot of a lot of people struggle, or even people that's not on a not on a big level, you know, a big scale. Like when it comes to colleges, or like, is it a strategy? Um, I feel like with NIL, it's all in what you what you do. Mm. In all reality, um, like with social media now, like you don't yeah. have to be the best player to get an NIL deal. You just got to have the biggest following. You know, that's really... Is that a downfall, they, though? Is that a downfall? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. You know, <laughs> I, I really don't know if that's a downfall. I mean, yeah. the best players sometimes don't like the internet, you know? Man, that's true, though. So, that's I mean, true. it just might... It just depends on how you want to weigh it. Mm. And then you got guys that, you know, aren't the best players that are more in tune into the internet. Then you got guys yeah. that are star players that are, are in tune to, internet, to the internet, you know, but... I feel like most of the NIL deals is based off of like publicity mm-hmm. and you know what this player has to offer. Yeah. You know, so I mean it go, it's gonna be the guys that have the most followers. It's gonna be the guys that has his name in the most articles. You know, it's just it's all about likings. Mm-hmm. You know. The guy you see the most is the guy's gonna get the biggest deal. And I think that's the, the good thing about NIL, but it's also a bad thing because you know you got like you said, the other guys, the younger guys, or the guys that don't got all that publicity, or smaller divisions, mm-hmm. they don't get that same recognition, and you know that is hard. And I think a lot of guys that are in those predicaments, they uh, use they use social media to like their advantage, mm-hmm. and uh, using their community resources to their advantage by like going out and you know exposing yourself to opportunities. Yeah, you know sometimes you can't let everything come to you. You got to go out and get it if you really want it. Mm-hmm. I know even for me, like, I go out, I'll DM someone if I want to, you know, a sponsor from them. Still got to Maybe they'll away. reach back. Maybe they won't. But sometimes they will, you know. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, like, you know, you never know what's on the other side. You yeah. know, even if it's not coming to you, that's how you got to go get it. And, you know, that's the, that's the good thing about NIL. You can go do that now. Mm-hmm. You know, every opportunity might not be presented to you, but you come across something, you know, you build a relationship with somebody, mm-hmm. you might know somebody else that might be willing to offer you an NIL deal. So I think that's the beauty to it, that, you know, it's money out there for all athletes. You yeah. just got to find it mm-hmm. and find how to get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I yeah. think, you know, for me, like, I created a brand 
And I think I created a brand before you know, before, yeah. yeah. So it was kind of you already had a direction, basically. right? You know, yeah. I had a picture like I want to do something outside of football. Like mm -hmm. I always wanted to have my own clothing line. Why not try to create it now where I have a, a platform, yeah, or building one at least. So uh, yeah, like I think the beauty for me the NIL is that now that I have a clothing line, I can do what I'm doing now, like be on a podcast. You know, mm -hmm. promoting my own brand yeah. on Use camera. That. Yeah. You know, I usually I couldn't do this. It would be against the law, against the rules. But mm -hmm. you know, I think that's the cool part about it, being able to, you know, make something, create something. Mm -hmm. And you can always you got hundred percent ownership of it. You know, I think that's right. the beauty about it, mostly most of everything. Mm -hmm. Anybody can do it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I use a platform called Obsess. That's where I sell my merch on now. They also help me grow my brand they are mm -hmm. a new platform that's uh um, helping athletes create brands and you know also got different nft opportunities and how guys can like find sponsors and promotions so yeah i mean it's a lot of stuff that's i'm using to my advantage to help grow my brand as well uh obsess um what's the story what's the story behind that how the you story behind up? obsess yeah, yeah i mean so i did an internship in the fall mm -hmm. for uh, my school so I did my internship with um, Turnbridge Marketing, and my um, advisor, her name, my supervisor's name was um, Molly, Molly yeah. Thompson. Yeah. So pretty much my internship was, you know, also based on building the brand, mm -hmm. learning how to monetize the brand, you know, how to price merch, how to promote it, you know, stuff like that, different strategies, sales strategies. Mm -hmm. And we also talked about, you know, taxes, you know, so it was all good stuff for me to learn knowing that I want to be an entrepreneur. Right. So um, Molly Thompson, she taught me those things. And, you know, she took sides to how, you know, determined I was and how listening I was and catering to, like, being willing to learn. And she um, she presented me um, this lady named Tracy Benson, mm -hmm. who was the um, CEO of Obsess. So um, they came to sit down with me, and we talked about um, me start my own, like sell my merch on her platform, Obsess and whatnot. And um, the conversation was going good. I was, you know, telling her about my brand, my vision for my brand. That's good. And, um, you know, she, she liked my story. And she thought, like, you know, I have something good going on. And, you know, I think we could, yeah. you know, work together. So two weeks later, they, um, they came to me and they said they want to offer me the equity deal. Be ambassador in the company and have um part part ownership in the company. Yeah, how did that make you feel? That reaction was it like a shock or he was like, like yeah, okay, I suppose to. Nah, it wasn't. Nah, like I said, bro, <laughs> it's, it's an opportunity. I love right, it. Right, right. I love right. it, man. I'm I'm blessed. Um, it means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Thank you to Tracy, thank you to sure. Molly, thank you to Allison, thank you to John and you know mm -hmm. all the guys that support me. Dalton, you know, thank these guys that yeah. have provided me with the resources and, you know, opportunities to help grow Battle Island. Mm -hmm. You know, without them, you know, I'm still learning on my own, but now I have a team, you know, I'm building, you know, I have more yeah. resources, like mm -hmm. my cousin Mike, he helps me out a lot too. So, you know, just growing and, you know, I feel like I'm getting somewhere with it. Yeah, You know, it's not just my thoughts and me thinking it's gonna blow up. Like people can believe my story Mm -hmm. You know, they can relate to what Battle Island is. And I think that's what, you know, is what's going to help me grow. You know, understanding my brand, people understanding my brand and my story and how they can also identify that how it relates to them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But, so, yeah, bro, it's, it's a blessing, though. That's good, bro. Being humble with it, too. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you know, yeah, natural, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm 21. I got my first business deal. Um... What can I say, bro? Like, yeah. I'm, I'm still in school, man. I just, I got to take path. it all in, bro. You got know? to, it's, got to. The sky's the limit, but one step at a time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. When it comes to having all of that success, like, as you see it, a lot of people, but you know, they say a lot of people notice it before you even actually see it. So, what is some of, I know, um, I know, like, it, it can be, Negative comments to be like, mm -hmm. okay, flashy. I see you got the see you got the yeah, yeah on. Yeah. Flashy. 
but other people might think it's flashy. You, it's just a representation of your brand. Mm -hmm. But other people might say flashy. Okay, he's selfish or or get in line like this is like you know what I mean like get in line where it's a system. We want it to be a, a team thing. Or yeah. what do you say to people like when it comes from that negative negative uh approach? Um, it's not. We all got our beliefs and yeah. how we think things should be. I'm not saying that my way is better than anybody else. Yeah. Um, we all got our own identity, and you know this is this is my identity. Yeah. I like who I am. I don't harm nobody. I I like what I like. I like to look good. I like to feel good. Right. You right. Know, to play good. Right. You know you know my role model, uh -huh. Deion Sanders. Uh -huh. I mean. Okay. If it ain't obvious, yeah. you know, I mean, I do my own thing, but he was a big idol to my game and, you know, how I carry myself. Yeah. I like, I like, I like his game. You know, I'm not cocky. Mm -hmm. I'm humble, but yeah. I like his, I like his style. And I'm a corner. I'm a smooth corner. And, you know, I don't talk too much. I ain't no rah rah guy. I go handle business. I tell a dude, hey, good game. Yeah. That was a good route. Hey, you got me right there. You know, we laugh it off. I appreciate it. I mean, it ain't never no bad game for me. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, just, I just like to be myself, bro. Um, I don't try to make it nothing better than nothing worse than that. Um, if we got a system, yeah, I, I believe in systems and yeah. systems make things work. Yeah. But, you know, I'm not a robot. You know, I'm not a robot. I know what's right and I know what's, what's, what's wrong. Mm -hmm. I know what's the standard. You know what I'm saying? So I like to be myself and be who I am. And yeah. you know, I think everything should be smooth. Okay. Did any any system try to like like test your character or say you're too different or too smart or um nah, not I wouldn't really. say that. Uh, I mean yeah. not not everybody believes in, you know, the new school of things or yeah, this yeah. generation, like, yeah, I got a nice chain on. I mean I bought it. I like it. Mm. It's representation to me. Re representation to me. It's yeah. my initials with these right here. This this who I go to work with every day. Yeah, I ain't got no nothing but who I am. You know, it ain't nothing. It's flashy, but mm. representing myself. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's to me. It's a trophy. It's not a chain. You know, this is a trophy sure. piece to me. I got it made after I had a great season. Mm. Um, I went two years straight with um, less than 50% completion rate on me. Mm. It was only four players in the country that did that. So I'm like, you know, that's, that's a If that's it worked, you, yeah, like if you it worked. If you work yourself, on. you know, get yourself your flowers while you're on earth. Yeah. You know, you don't got to blow all your money, but have fun. You know, right. I ain't gonna, I'm not, I'm not going to just blow money on anything, but, mm. you know, I like, I like nice things. And if it's meaning something to me, then... I'll make it, not make make something worth worthy to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How you been going? How has uh balancing well all the success you have balancing it out with football business? Have you been doing well with that? Like, has it been a? Cause, you know, what I mean, it could it could it could not interfere. I mean, yeah, it's definitely not easy. Mm. Cause like. Football is my main focus. That's that's my platform. That's how I got to where I am now. Yeah. You know, anything really outside of football is something that I'm virtually out to do on my own, do my own studies in because I like it. But, you know, football, you know, you got to keep the main thing the main thing. So mm -hmm. I always make sure I take care of everything football-wise first. Um, yes, things has interfered with that, and it's made things difficult. Mm -hmm. But... You know, if you believe in something, then you got to stay at it. Like, a big thing for me with my brand, I wasn't really consistent with it. You know, just because I had a lot of ties in with school and football. Mm -hmm. So, like, my business was, like, third on my agenda. Plus, I got family time, you know. So, like, stuff like that, you got to make time for. It. And, like, my brand, I couldn't get to it like I wanted to. But when I had time to, I still did. I did do small things. Yeah. New designs, um, promote it, and do photo shoots, you know, make sales, stuff like that. But I couldn't put the time in. I wanted to it. 
I mean, I still can't now. Um, mm. but I'm making it work. You know, I'm believing in it. I put time into it. Um, this is unreleased right here. Mm. I haven't I haven't released these yet. Um, got talk to... about the um, what's on it though. Talk about what's on it. This eight. Yeah. Oh, that's an eight. It's an eight. Yeah. Oh, that's tough. That's yeah. that's like puff, right? Yeah. Embossed. Yeah. What's on the arm? What's on the arm right there? That's that's the sniper, sniper. right there. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna have to get one of those. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's the angry Any day. other colors? Any other colors you have? Um, so these unreleased, man. I only got I got a couple of them. Okay. So no, nah, I mean I got a couple of these to see how. Stay in tune. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I want to see how people like them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Being a community leader, a kid come up to you and say, "I want to be just like you." How would you respond? Man, I'll tell him, "You can, you can be better than me." I'm just an example. You know, I just want to show y'all that you can do it. You yeah. know, that's why I love my city. That's why I love the community here because I'm like, man, if I can do it, I know anybody here can do it. I'm not saying it's easy, but if you got the right focus, mm -hmm. you can do it. I mean, it takes focus at a young age, but you take, you take the right focus and put it to the right things, and you can do whatever you want. I mean... I'm a strong believer of that because, you know, I did it. Yeah. And I was like, you see me, I'm not in the streets, but I'm not geek, you know, <laughs> I'm yeah, like yeah. a real cool dude. Yeah. For so sure. I mean, like I had I got homeboys that that was in the streets. You know, I mm. went to parties, I hung out with those guys. Those was my guys. Some of my closest friends were in the streets. And yeah. you know, we played we all played football together. So that's how we that's how we all met. Mm. And um they knew I was real big on playing sports. Yeah. And everybody knew my family, you know, battle. My dad was everywhere, mm -hmm. everywhere with me. Always got Big Daddy this, Tay Shooter that, support me and my brother in every sport we played. He mean, he was filming sometimes. Yeah. So, I mean, um, just tell kids, like, you can be whatever you want to be. Um, it's all in your mindset. You know, just stay focused and – Believe that you can do it. Chase your dreams. That's all I've ever been doing. Yeah. I'm still doing. It. I mean, I ain't, I ain't reached my dreams yet. I said I want to go to the NFL. I'm still in college. I mean, I want to get drafted. I want to be in the Hall of Fame. Like my sure. dreams keep going. You know, I just got to keep chasing them. No limitations on them. No, no limitations. So you talked about your pops. What was uh, how was that growing up? Having a having a supporter like that, man, my pops, man, I think he was probably best thing ever happened to me. You know, him, my mom. Be honest with you, um, like a lot of my friends, they they didn't have both of their parents in their life. So I mean, I was blessed to have both of mine in my life. Mm. Still to this day, um, you know, I, I take I take like I, I cherish that because. Like, I love my friends to death, but I know they yeah. would die to have their parents, both of their parents in their life, too, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, my dad's, like, one of my closest friends, not my best friend. You know, we talk about a lot of stuff. Um, he taught me a lot of stuff. I mean, you would think he played football. <laughs> he didn't even play sports in high school. Well, I didn't know that. Nah, Pops didn't even play sports in high school. It looked like he did play. How, you would have thought he passion. played. Oh, I would say wow. he played. That's <laughs> he crazy. He was too scared. What? He was too scared. That's crazy. I'm glad know. he let me play. Yeah. I told I told him uh I told him the other day, I said, Pops, I said, This is this is your dream. This is what you yeah. were supposed to do. I was like, Pops, this is what I'm doing. I got this from you. Mm. You ain't wanna display it, but you allowed me to. Yeah. My dad, my dad put me in football as soon as I came out. <laughs> yeah, he like, yeah, you gonna get over that. Yeah, you gonna, man. So, you gonna do with something that like, I ain't. <laughs> okay. If anything, my pops seen the vision of me before anybody. Mm. Like he called me sports, my first nickname. Then I played sports, started making big plays. Then it became Big Daddy. That's now he right, called me Big Daddy. Oh, okay. And everybody think it's the weirdest thing ever, but I mean, I know that's my pops. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's my nickname. I cherish. It. I like mm. it. Cause I know I know what it means. It yeah. Might not mean you might not know what it means, but I know what it means. Yeah, no, that's something special. Yeah, but so yeah. basically, it's like a reminder to let you know where you came from, where that drive been at. Yeah, got you, got you. 
when it comes to, oh, say, so uh, the community, being a community leader, what you feel like the city you came from, Rocky Mount, what you think it needs to order in order to flourish? Um, it just needs the kids. They need opportunities. They need resources. They need leaders. They need community leaders. They need guys like me and you to come back, give back, show them that. Yeah. You can do a lot of things, you know. You from Rocky Mountain, but it's a lot outside of Rocky Mountain. You know, a lot of kids ain't been outside of Rocky Mountain. Yeah, and I know crazy. I used to think Rocky Mountain was a city. <laughs> That's how small my head yeah. was. So I mean, like once you you grow, you get outside the city, go look at new things. You see, like you get exposed to new things. Your mm -hmm. brain, you know, you start thinking differently, and that's how you grow. You know, seeing new things, meeting new people. I think it's all about, you know, networking and connecting, connecting your mind. Relationships, yeah. for sure. What about the city of Raleigh? How the city of Raleigh, being at NC State, how how the city of Raleigh had a big influence on you? Um, city of Raleigh, um, it's like that's like my second home now. Um been there four and a half years. Um the fan base. You know, I love them. They love me. It's it's been great with them. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I, when I walked out for a senior day, uh, our last game, our last home game, you know, I could just feel the love from the fans when they was chanting. You know, wow. they, they said my name. I ran out. You know, it was it felt cool. It felt like yeah. it felt like home. I you know, love like, that. I felt like I'm welcome here. Like, thank you for what you've done. Thank you for being here, running with the pack. You know, that thing that was special to me. Um, Raleigh, Raleigh is a place where I know, you know if I need help or anything, I can always find somebody that can always help me grow and help me accomplish what I want to accomplish. So I think that's a good thing about Raleigh, you know, just they welcome me in with all arms. Mm -hmm. So you said a camp, you got a camp out of a 252 showdown, right? Mm -hmm. That's where you're going to be. So where, like, um, you don't got a date on it yet, though, do you? No, I don't have a date on the... um. Uh, 252 camp showdown yet it's going to yeah. be more than likely in july this summer um we will uh, potentially be having a 707 camp mm. here april 18th with um april 15th with um 707 recruits yeah as a visionary of that what the, what the others supposed to expect coming from the last the last camp that we had like um, something new <clears throat> like oh uh, you should you gonna definitely expect something new Mm. I mean, I ain't gonna tell you what's gonna be new. You mm -hmm. gotta come see. Um, yeah, yeah. That's that's for your eyes only. You know, whoever comes to yeah. the event, you know, we gonna we gonna see. Mm -hmm. After day, we gonna have some. You know, we definitely gonna put some exposure out for the kids. Um, you know, we, we definitely want guys to get recruited. So we want to also help them and find the school, help the school find them. You know, so have recruiting film going on. Um, live DJ. Yeah. Some good competition. Um. Got the best talent in Eastern North Carolina gonna be there. Um, okay. You know we're just gonna come out there. We are gonna ball. Got some new gear coming for you. Um, something. You get a preview of that soon. So you know, stay tuned for that. Yeah. Um, but more than anything, we just want we want guys that want to come work. Guys want to come love, play the game, football, learn, get better, get yeah. recruited, and build relationships. Go too. to the next level. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, so we gotta we gonna end it off with this game. I made up. It's called either or. Either or. You gotta pick a word. You gotta pick a word. I'm gonna give you two options. You gotta pick a word, but you gotta explain why. I gotta explain it. You gotta explain why you chose that word. Okay. You good. All right. Let's get it. We got five though. We got five that. words. Yeah, just five. Five. All right. How many? I gotta choose. Five choices. Two. Yeah. You, now you gotta choose one out of the two. So mm. it's five. It's five. Uh, five sections basically. It's called either or. So the first one, I'm gonna ask you, is it reputation or money? Which one would you choose? Reputation or money? Reputation or money? Can I if you can one? have, if you can have one, if you can have one to survive with. Reputation. Reputation. Why? Um, like I like I said, it's all about who you know. You know, in this world, you know, word of mouth is more important than money. You know, relationships are more important than money. Um, I'm big on family. You know, my family is, you know, representation of me. And it's all about how you left that person feeling. 
Mm. Reputation. How you represent yourself. You know, the money, you can do a poor job. You get that money, you might not get hired again. You know what I'm saying? So I think reputation is like more how you lead and how you came, how you remember. You know what I'm saying? Legacy. Legacy. For sure. Round two. Love or peace? Ah, uh, yeah. love or peace? Yeah. I got to say peace. I got to say peace, bro. Why peace? I mean, bro, love can be toxic. Love can mm. be toxic. Love, love is love is love. We all need love, some type of love. But, I mean, love can slow you down. Love mm. can slow you down. If you're not mm. seeing it with a clear vision, you know, you're blind to it. But definitely would say um, peace because I like my peace. I feel like I'm in my best headspace when I got peace. And sometimes love and peace don't go together. So I feel like I would always take my peace over love. That's real. You, you really thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Respect or loyalty? Ah, respect or loyalty. Yeah. Ooh, loyalty, 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 loyalty. Mm. I say loyalty. Okay, okay. I mean, respect? Dang. Yeah, respect boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to think about that one. Respect. Yeah. You got to choose one, though. That's the game. Respect or loyalty? Respect. Think about it before you. I'm saying, though, how can you respect somebody if you're not loyal to them? Respect and go. I chose respect. You choose respect? Yeah, because respect, like you can be loyal at the same time, but respect, respect and go like people are, a respect is like, it, you can go far with respect. I mean, loyalty is like, you can be loyal to the wrong things. Yeah, so respect is like, Okay, no matter what, you know what I mean? I ain't even going to cross you because I respect you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, a, yeah. that's what I... Okay. Respect I, is I a mean, big thing. But it's all. It's your mind, though. It's my mind. Yeah. It's like, my mind. You're right. But shoot, bro. Uh, just think I about feel like it. I feel like they can go hand in hand. Mm. I feel like they can go hand in hand. Um, I mean... Me personally, I don't feel like there's no respect without loyalty. And I don't think there's no loyalty without respect. You know, like, I feel like if you respect someone, then you, you shouldn't do wrong by them. And if you're loyal to someone, then you respect who they are as a person to do wrong by them. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's just me, though. That's you really ain't choose, bro. I, mean, I, I, I can't. I mean, I, I'm gonna say loyal then. I'm gonna just say okay. loyal. Okay. And that's my story. Got you. Faith or fate? Uh, faith. I say faith. You said that with no hesitation. Uh, I put my faith in God. I put my faith in God. Okay. Faith, man. Faith is that's when you can't see no more and you just keep going. Yeah. I swear, man, it's it's been times like that, bro. For real, yeah. for real. Like, I don't know what's about to happen. What what's about to go next? Mm -hmm. In game, you gotta have faith. Shit, hey. fourth quarter, you know, UNC game. Mm -hmm. They came at me. This was twenty twenty one. Um, fourth quarter, they came at me like three, four times in the red zone. Same drive. Mm. They ain't had nothing but faith. I'm like. They going to keep trying me. I put my faith in God. I know I'm prepared for this moment, but you got to believe in yourself. That faith. You know, I, I, ain't, I ain't hesitate. I wasn't scared. Yeah. I had faith. You know, I knew I was going to succeed because I knew I had God with me. And then the reaction to that, like, yeah, you had faith, but you don't know what about to happen. No. Nah. But you know it came out like, like just right on time with what you needed. Because, bro, I can remember the play like yesterday, bro. Like, step from step before the snap. To plan through his hands, to getting the ball out. God had me that focused. Mm -hmm. He had me zoned in. He played it in slow motion so I can go see it. Took a picture, got it out. That's why I was so turned. 
For sure. Because I, I knew I could vision. I'm like, I feel it. Mm-hmm. They coming right back at me. Boom. And I, I, I passed. You know, I passed. I succeeded. And that was, that's an accomplishment. Yeah. On the inside, it ain't nothing you really share or talk about. But to me, I'm like, I just did something I knew was about to happen. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like faith. Faith really got you in the moment. Fate is like, you already know what's about to happen. You already looking towards the future because you like, oh yeah, it's aligned with that. Mm. But faith, it got so much power because it forces you to be in the moment. You know what I mean? You like, okay, yeah. let me do, let me do what I gotta do, no matter what the outcome may be. Just let me go ahead and make this decision. Yeah. Yeah, I chose faith too. Faith. Yeah, good money. Freedom or security? Freedom. Freedom. I've been working for freedom, man. Yeah. I want to be able to one day just kick my feet up and just chill. Mm. Or just go go out, ride, ride my motorcycle if I got one. <laughs> yeah. Go out. Go go out on the boat and go ride out with the friends or something. You know, be able to chill and enjoy life. Because I mean, we work our whole life. You know what time yeah. you gonna try to spend for yourself? And dedicate to just being happy. You know, like we we all got different lives, different stories. Nobody really knows what everybody goes through. Yeah. Nobody really knows how happy somebody really is. But at the end of the day, you want to make yourself happy. Like it ain't really no caring about how somebody views you. I want to feel happy, and I mean, I'm I'm happy. I am happy, but I want to be one day where. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just, yeah. man, I'm just chilling today. Mm-hmm. I'm just chilling. That's what I want to do one day. Be able to just go with the flow and not be able to work on schedule to schedule. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. Just, bro. If you feeling like you, you can call do me, I ain't doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Still, yeah. Still be able to have that freedom to go where you want to go. Yeah. I can For go sure. pull up right, right now. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Yeah. 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 I chose freedom too. I chose freedom because it's like you in control. Mm-hmm. You're not letting nobody else control you. I feel like security, you got to rely on somebody else to to make you secure. You know what I mean? So it's like yeah. you always want to be in control in a way. I'm not saying like nobody else but the most high, but you always want to be in control most of the time. Right. Yeah, I chose freedom. Yeah, I appreciate you having me on the show, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Thanks for having me. You've been sitting in that seat for a little long. Hey, but, it's, it's comfortable. Comfortable? It's comfortable. I'm yeah, sure. yeah. Yeah. Big chill, Overall, man. bro, I really appreciate you. You know, you like my brother. Oh, yeah. Shoot, we down there grew up together one. for real. Yeah, yeah, for, for sure. Day one. Yeah, bro. But yeah, appreciate you having me on the show. And uh make sure y'all tune in. Really appreciate you for tuning in. Make sure y'all tune in on all follow all of the platforms, roll the solace. Make sure y'all run it up. So again, my name Visionary. Every day is a message, and every lesson helps with perspective.